maps. You probably take them for granted. In fact, right now, you likely have access to a detailed map of the entire world. But in the 18th century, when the British army arrived in North America to fight the Revolutionary War, they were far from home and didn't know the country. If they had any hope of defeating the upstart colonists, they needed to get a lay of the land, and quick. Back then, cartography, the art and science of making maps, was generally done by military officers trained in engineering. Maps were an essential tool in the arsenal of any successful army. They provided military leaders with crucial information on a country's landmarks and terrain, helped them to scout the location of enemy troops, and plan where to direct their own soldiers before, during, and after battles. Luckily for the British, they had a secret weapon in their ranks, experienced mapmaker John Montresor. Born in Gibraltar in 1736, Montresor was just 18 when he accompanied his father, a chief engineer in the British Army, to the New World. He began his own career as an ensign during the French and Indian War. After the conflict, he remained in North America, recording and documenting the development of the colonies. So when the revolution came, the British Army had a go-to man. Montresor traveled with British troops on the ground, diligently recording military positions and terrain as he went. He participated in the British movements at Lexington and Concord, was present at the Battle of Brooklyn, and as the British captured Philadelphia. While debate continues over just how many maps Montresor was personally responsible for throughout the war, the maps produced in these early years of conflict were among the most accurate of the entire war. Today, Captain John Montresor's work quite literally maps out the people, places, and events that defined the American Revolution and helps us to piece together how armies maneuvered in the field of battle. <laughs>